Happy almost new year. Let's go back and see if I accomplished the goals that I set out for myself in 2020. And let's set some new goals for 2021. Let's go. What's up, Coral people? If you're new here, my name is Remy, and this is the Bahama Lama Coral YouTube channel. The best way to support this channel, as always, is to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you're notified whenever I upload new videos. Happy New Year! After we had an interesting 2020, that just feels so good to say. And I know things aren't gonna magically change as we roll over into 2021, but at least, at least, we have a little bit of something to look forward to, maybe a little bit of hope in the new year. Like I said last year, this video is not going to be something that is uh, most viewed by any means. It's just a uh, good documentation for me to look back on the year that we just had and look forward to the next year. I actually like watching YouTubers and I might be kind of weird that do this where they kind of look back on the goals that they set out for themselves in the previous year and see if they even came close to those goals or not. So we're gonna do that in this video. It is safe to say that this channel has progressed in multiple areas. At the beginning of 2020, the channel had about 1,300 subscribers. And as of today, that number hovers right around 10,000. That happened in one year because of you. Just looking back on some of my 2020 goals, I went back to the video from last year and reviewed it a little bit to see where I was. I had a goal of 5,000 subscribers in 2020. We doubled that. I'm insanely grateful. 50 videos. This is number 50. So we did that. Travel to a conference. <laughs> I can only laugh at that one because I had high hopes to go to, you know, Aquashella Dallas or Rap New York or Rap Orlando or go see my friends at OSA. All of those things were on tap early 2020, but unfortunately, due to the pandemic, there was no traveling this year, and all of those conventions were shut down. I also had a weird, like vague goal of getting better gear and more efficient pumps and that kind of thing. Uh, that didn't really happen, I guess. Uh, I do have some CJ gear, I have some Ecotech gear, that stuff will be coming in the future. I wanna make sure that I put that on a designated tank and that will be in the future goals for sure. But we'll get to that. In 2020, I fragged a Scully, which now Moki, the inappropriate reaper, has the other half. Hopefully that is still alive. I haven't had an update on that, but I'm sure that uh, it's doing well. I still have the main half of that Scully, which we could frag again in the new year, if you want it. I fragged my coolest coral in the world, the Weeping Willow Leather Coral. I sold coral at not one, but two frag swaps for my first and second frag swaps ever selling coral, and didn't do too bad either. I sent coral across the country in an epic trade with Jeremy from the Reef News Network. I got to tour the St. Louis Aquarium during the front part of the pandemic when it was totally shut down to the public. Eerie being in St. Louis Aquarium when there's nobody in there but the animals. Obviously somebody has to take care of those animals even during a pandemic. So there were like workers and things like that there, but really cool to see all the tanks in silence. I went on several reef tank tours, which I plan on doing more in 2021. Thank you to Tyler. Thank you to Ben. Thank you to Alex. And thanks to Saltwater Alley for taking me through her setup, which I know has since changed. We'll have to check in with her and see how she's doing on her new builds as well. I made a video on how to start your own reef channel here on YouTube, and some of you actually did. Most notable, I think, is King Tide Corals. He's been keeping up with it every single week since that video, so shout out to Blaine. Your channel's awesome. Go check it out and definitely give King Tide Corals a sub. And I successfully set up a Pico tank complete with macro algae. You can check that out in, uh, I think it was a couple of videos ago, I did an update on that tank. I installed this frag tank extension here, which doubles as a swap show tank, and so much more. This year has been filled with so much. And if you've been a part of this channel in any way, shape, or form, thank you so much. I'm not gonna sugarcoat this at all, but it's, it's tough to get a video out every single week with a full-time job, 
uh, kids, personal life, all of that on top of making sure that there's a weekly video out. And I miss some weeks and some weeks were off on days that I got it uploaded, but 50 videos was my goal and 50 videos is exactly what I did. I also wanna look forward as well. I am an advocate of writing down your goals, like actually taking a pen to paper or pencil to paper and writing down what you want to accomplish because I feel like when you write it down, for whatever reason, it has a better chance of actually happening. So do this, even if you don't have a YouTube channel, go ahead and write down all of your goals for your tank or tanks in the next year. It plants a seed and it's a start. Okay, let's get into it. Goals for 2021. It's big, it looks scary. 25,000 subscribers by the end of 2021. So I figure if I got 10,000 this year, that means I can tack on another maybe four to five for next year on top of that 10,000. So I'm looking at a goal of 25,000 subscribers by the end of 2021. And if you haven't done so yet, click that subscribe button. Start helping me now. While I'd like to grow and do more videos, I wanna make sure that I have an attainable goal for 2021 when it comes to the amount of videos I make. So I'm going to stick with my 50 videos for 2021 as well. With the hopes that we'll add another 10, 15, 20 videos onto that, I'd like to do some streams. Uh, I wanna make sure that I'm fully set up for that. I don't wanna go into it and have issues right off the bat. I know that that's part of it, but I wanna do some streams and I also wanna do some shorter videos during the week. So maybe a video that's two to five minutes long instead of doing a full eight to 10 minute video. This frag tank as we know it is going bye-bye. I don't exactly know what I wanna do with it yet, but I know that it is overwhelming right now. It's hard to clean, it's hard to do maintenance on it, and when I do have to do maintenance on it, it's hours and hours of work. And all of that goes back to the fact that I set this up super quickly when we moved here and then just kind of let the problems stack on themselves and never really took care of anything until it was too late. But that's okay because we live and we learn and we make adjustments. So it's a good thing because I think that this will create uh, a new canvas, a blank slate to do something else. I have talked about making one of these interior rooms down here, a coral room and being 100% honest, don't have the extra cash to do that. Also don't know if we're gonna be in this house forever. I would love to move out to an area with some land. I want an alpaca farm. And you're probably like, you're the llama guy. Why don't you want llamas? I don't know. Look at the difference between a llama and an alpaca. Tell me which one's cuter. Alpacas by a mile. Give me like a hundred of those in a field. Most adorable thing ever. So I'm still gonna make myself a travel goal this year. Uh, I wanna go to OSA. I wanna check out uh, Ocean State Aquatics, all their facilities now, because they have multiple facilities. I wanna hang out with that crew. I also wanna travel to one convention. I'm just gonna say one convention, whether that be Aquashella or Wrap or Keep On Reefing, whatever it is, something in the country that I'll have to travel to by plane. I also wanna build out a proper display tank. I've been talking about this for months as well but something over 100 gallons, maybe that's what will take the place in this area of the frag tank. And I wanna to continue to improve the look and feel of this channel. Uh, I feel like I've been doing what works and I wanna get better at that. I wanna make the images that come to you a lot better, whether that's uh, audio, video, photos, whatever it is, I wanna get better. I just got a brand new camera, the Sony a6600. That is not what I'm shooting on right now. I haven't added it into my workflow yet, but that's coming. In high school, I was setting myself up to go to college to be a biology teacher, secondary education, biology teacher. Life is funny, and after college, I got into radio. I was a mass communications major and an anthropology minor, and I think that anthropology, the, the biological anthropology stuff that I was taking was filling that void for me. But I feel like this channel gives me a reason to embrace that science void. In 2021, I already know I'm gonna make a couple different series that have a more hard science approach, some experimental things. And I know Telegram, if you're watching, you'll appreciate it. If you're still here at this point in the video, you're probably a subscriber because I would imagine that most non-subscribers have already dipped out at this point. But if you haven't yet, maybe look down, see if that subscribe button is still lit for you. If it isn't, go ahead 
and hit like and subscribe and that bell notification so you know whenever I upload new videos. In last year's video, I also said that I wanted to make long lasting relationships with sponsors and partners. Ocean State Aquatics has done just that. Scott Crow reached out very, very early on in this channel's life and believed in it and believed in me and wanted to help out in any way he possibly could. He has now become a part of the video that people will timestamp in the comments. Scott Crow, congratulations. You're a meme. Also a huge shout out to the Reef News Network a podcast that I've been a part of a couple times, a podcast that I hope to be a part of more in the future and a podcast that I want to bring into this channel a lot more. I know that there's some collaborative stuff that we can do in the new year and the Reef News Network as a media partner has always been awesome. Peter and Jeremy, thank you for what you do. And if you haven't checked out the Reef News Network podcast, go download it now, subscribe, and listen to that every single week. I also wanna thank uh, Marine Depot, CJ, Ecotech, Marine Farmers, Aquatic Aptitude, uh, Tyler and Ben, my good friends here in St. Louis, uh, anybody that I've worked with on the channel, Inappropriate Reefer, uh, Telegram, gosh, there's so many, and I, I feel like this is like an award speech or something. I'm definitely missing people and, uh, and companies, and if I have missed you, I am so sorry. Hopefully we can work together on a bigger level in 2021 and the years to come. So thank you so much for making this channel what it is. Again, thank you, the reefing community. You guys are awesome. Stay safe and I will see you in the new year.